everybody. In my last video when I did a tour of my chicken coop I said that I was going to do another video and introduce you to my chickens. And I thought that it would be a good idea to talk about my, to introduce you to the chickens but also to talk about the different breeds and why I chose the breeds that I did because I really loved watching your YouTube videos when I was waiting for my chickens and when I was choosing which breeds. So I got my chickens. They ship them when they're a day old from a company called MyPetChicken.com and I had a really great experience with this company and I'll leave a link below and they're a good company if you are just want a few chickens for your backyard because they'll ship as few as three or four chickens. The larger hatcheries you have to get at least 25. So they're a good company to go with if you're thinking about just a few. A couple things that I took into consideration when choosing my breeds were just the different chickens, what I wanted the coloration to be. I wanted my flock to be pretty. It's kind of nap time a little bit for them, so <laughs> that one's not like sick or dying or anything. She's just taking a little nap. And um, I also, besides what I wanted the chickens themselves to look like, I also wanted to have a colorful egg basket, so I chose chickens that would lay different colored eggs. And if you are keeping your chickens in a, you know, enclosed in a pen or in a hen house, you want to get breeds that tolerate confinement as well. And if, I mean, I got my chickens for egg production, so you'll want to get ones that, you know, they're going to lay a couple eggs a week for you. So let's start with this all golden chicken right here. Her name's Buffy, and she's a Buff Warbington. And she's a really sweet chicken. I, she's kind of shy, and she's lower on the pecking order, and she doesn't venture out as far when I let them out. Uh, I only let them out when I'm out here. But I like the Buff Warbington. She lays light brown eggs. And I'm not sure if she started laying or not yet. My chickens are 21 weeks old. Um, so a few of them have started laying. But I'm not sure if she has. One thing to consider about Buff Warpingtons is that they are so sweet and shy that if you have breeds of chickens that can be kind of nasty, you don't want to mix these one thing because they can get picked on. I think you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but uh, Leghorn chickens and Rhode Island Reds, I think they can tend to be a little bit mean. And apparently Mo wanted her picture taken. These two right next to one another here are Easter Eggers. This is Mo here. She laid her first egg today. Yay! Way to go! It was an olive green egg, but it was broken, so we couldn't eat it. Um, and this little lady down here, my bearded lady, is Queenie. And she was all gray as a chicken. Now she's kind of this, you know, buff color with a gray beard and I, I like her. She's sweet. The Easter Eggers are sweet. Um, they're not super, super friendly, but you know, they're nice to the other chickens. I like that. And Easter Eggers can lay different egg colors. They have a gene from a breed of chicken that lays bluish, greenish eggs. So I was hoping to get blue eggs. So that's why I got two, to increase my chances. They can lay blue, green, beige, white, or even like pinkish colored eggs. So, um, that's my Easter Eggers, the two of them. Then right here is a Barred Plymouth Rock, this black and white one. And I have another Barred Plymouth Rock as well, who is back in the corner there. Um, the one up front here is, who are you? She is Jennifer. I can tell by looking at their comb. Her comb's kind of folded over. Uh, but it's hard to tell, you know just by a glance which one's which. And then Clarissa's back there getting some treats, I think. And they are named after the two fat ladies, if anybody watches that cooking show. And the Barred Plymouth Rocks are definitely the top two girls on the pecking order. And they're not too mean to the other chickens, but they will give them a sharp peck to the head if I put treats in or something so that they make sure to get to the treats first. Um, this one here, she's a pretty little chicken. She's going to stay littler than the rest of them, and she's not laying it yet. Her name's Ginger, and she's a golden campine, or campine, or campin'. Not sure how to say that one. 
and she has a gold head and black and gold barred body and I just like how her tail's upright like that and she will lay white eggs and I wanted to have a chicken that would lay white eggs. She is definitely the least friendly. She does not want any part of being petted or held or near me even to get treats she doesn't come too much. And then the one in front of her looks like the barred rock but she, if you look at her leg color, it's flesh toned. I don't know if you can tell in the video with the barred rocks in it, she's not showing me her legs. They have yellow legs. So this is a cuckoo marans or marins. It's a French chicken, I think. And she lays darker brown eggs, chocolate brown eggs. And I had ordered another chicken that laid dark brown eggs called a well summer, but they didn't hatch enough the day that my chickens were being shipped. So they called and they said, or actually they emailed and said, would you, you know, accept substitutions? And I was like, yes, I'll take anything. I'm just excited. Said then chickens. <laughs> so uh, she, her temperament is pretty in the middle. She's She's just kind of not too shy, but she's not mean or anything like that. She doesn't pick on the other chickens. So uh, she was my first one to lay. So I'm very, she probably started laying at, gee, I think ni 18 or 19 weeks. So I've been happy to have her. So if you, I think that was all seven of the chickens. If not, uh, add a little part at the end. But if you are considering getting a flock for your backyard, I do highly recommend it because they're so fun to watch and you get fresh eggs almost every day. They're not all laying yet, but pretty soon maybe every day. And they they're a little they're a little bit of work. You have to let them out pretty early in the morning or else they'll complain a lot. Put them in at dark every night. Give them fresh water and food every day, which isn't a problem now, but in the winter that might become a challenge. Um, Ginger is posing quite nicely for the camera here. You're such a pretty girl. Oh, Queenie. Hi, honey. Um, so, it's not a lot of work, but it is every day that you have to take care of them. So, if you go out of town a lot, it probably isn't the best idea for you. But, you know, if you're willing to put in a maybe 10 minutes every day, and then plus you got to clean the coop out every once in a while, but that's not too, too often that you have to change the shavings and all. Um, but they each have their own little personalities and it has been really fun to, to watch them. I let them out a little bit, try to do it every day, but I only let them out when I'm outside here because the neighbors have a dog and I do not want them to get eaten. And Jennifer, she is probably the most friendly. She'll, um, she sh thinks she's trying to eat the camera strap right now, but She'll let me hold her, and she's one of the few that actually, I think, likes to be held. She doesn't, like, jump up or anything, but she'll stay there. So, I'm thinking about doing a video about how to care for chicks, because I was very fortunate that my all the seven that they shipped did um, make it and are, are healthy. So, I just thought to do a little video about caring for baby chicks, because it can be a little scary if you've never done it before and just to kind of share some of the things that I learned along the way. So those are, that's my little backyard flock and I hope that you enjoyed meeting them. Say bye Jen!